Unlocking the mystery, in the 11th hour. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, in the 11th hour. This phrase is widely used in both everyday and professional language, but what does it really mean? Stick around as we uncover its meaning, origins, and how you can use it in your own conversations. In the 11th hour, refers to taking action or making a decision at the last possible moment, just before it's too late. Imagine a situation where a deadline is approaching, and the necessary action is taken just in the nick of time. This phrase encapsulates that rush and urgency. The origin of, in the 11th hour, can be traced back to the Bible, specifically to the parable of the workers in the vineyard in the Gospel of Matthew. In this story, workers hired at the 11th hour of a 12-hour workday receive the same pay as those who worked all day. The phrase has since evolved to symbolize doing something at the last moment, regardless of the religious context. You can use this phrase in various contexts, from casual conversations to more formal settings. Here are a few examples. Project completion. The team completed the project in the 11th hour, just before the deadline. Decision making. He made his choice in the 11th hour, which surprised everyone. Saving situations. The investor stepped in at the 11th hour to save the company from bankruptcy. Remember, Using this phrase adds a sense of drama and urgency to the situation you're describing. For English language learners, incorporating idiomatic expressions like, in the 11th hour, into your vocabulary can make your English sound more natural and fluent. Here are some tips. Practice. Try using the phrase in your own sentences or during conversation practice. Context. Always consider the context. This phrase is best used in situations involving deadlines, last-minute decisions, or urgent actions. Listen, pay attention to how native speakers use the phrase in movies, shows, or real-life conversations to understand its nuance and appropriateness. And that's a wrap on, in the 11th hour. We hope this video has shed some light on this intriguing expression and how you can use it to add depth to your English conversations. Remember, learning a language is all about discovery and practice, so don't shy away from trying out new phrases. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.